into the first two weeks of camp now. What can you tell us about, about life in camp so far? Yeah, it's been um, it's been a tough ten days. I think um, you know we asked the boys to come back in good condition so we could crack straight on with it, and boys respected that. Came back in really good nick. So yeah, we've been pushing them hard. We've been explaining where we want to go this year. Um, you know slight little tweaks and, and where we felt we didn't quite get to in some areas but yeah really positive start. Um, and in terms of the facilities obviously you're now now based at King's Home just how good is that that gym that's already come together over there? Yeah it's awesome I mean the gym is is world class you know I think the boys were blown away when they came in I, I was blown away I, I knew the plans and knew what it looked like and then you, you see it in the flesh and it's uh, it's brilliant and I think you know you can really see the scope of how the the centre is going to come together now once the um, uh, artificial pitch goes indoors and the glass panels that will lead from the gym to there you know it's going to be outstanding and uh, yeah, again the boys have really enjoyed getting stuck into it. And obviously it's been a it's been a tough first couple of weeks for the players as you'd expect in pre-season but how much can the players expect that intensity to shift up a gear or is it pretty consistent across pre-season? No we, we will keep upping and upping you know we, we've got our plans in pre-season as to which weeks we want to peak and which weeks they, they need to hit the right meters and they need to have had the right amount of collisions and and all those sort of fine details but as I say, the, the players have gone pretty hard to start with, and um, you know it's not a softly, softly approach where we'll we'll be flying in six weeks' time. We you know we want to get stuck in, and um, you know we did so much hard work last year. We don't want to step away from that and try and you know build up slowly. So we've got straight into it. But yeah, as with most people's pre-season intensity, we'll get more and more. And you mentioned there about players having their own targets as well as the overall program. How much is the program individualised, if you like, to each player? Yeah, it has to be individualised to a certain extent. You know, we, we have our markers that we expect players in certain positions to hit and obviously they vary through strength and conditioning and, and the fitness drills that we do, um, you know, obviously two positions. But yeah, away from the, the sort of generic markers we expect you to be at, you know, we do individualise, you know, some lads need to be stronger, some need to be fitter. So we have to adapt their programme and, and thankfully we've got, you know, Dan Lead in a great SNC programme, which, um, you know, the boys are, are really buying into. Uh, not all the new faces have, have arrived yet, but there's a there's a handful there. How, how have they settled in? Yeah, really good. I mean, you know, we say so we did massive uh, research on all the players who've come in, and um, their character references were great. So I expect nothing less. They've been training really hard. You know, the program here is is slightly different from where they've all come from. So there's a there's an adaptation period, if you like. But really good characters throwing themselves into it, and uh, yeah, the, the good thing is we've still you know we've still got about ten players to come back. Um, and for the record, Kirill, is he someone you'll be challenging to arm wrestle anytime soon? No, <laughs> uh, you know, Kirill's a, a serious specimen and um, yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's enjoyable to watch in the gym and pushing the sleds. Obviously, um, you know, there's a few bits of the game here that would be different to where he's come from, but he's keen as mustard to learn them. You know, he's, he's mad picking everyone's brains and getting stuck into the skill sessions and it, he really wants to grow and, and become a really, really top rugby player while he's here, which is, which is really encouraging. So. Um, you know, he's, he's definitely got the foundations of, of being a, a very good rugby player. And, and finally, first, uh, finally for you personally, um, this is probably the first time you've been able to actually sit back, reflect and thoroughly plan, if you like, a pre-season programme um, with, with Gloucester Rugby. And how important has that time been for you? Yeah, it's been really good actually. Having, having the reflection time um, over the time off was was good for me because you say from I've been here a year now and it was pretty much a, a whirlwind of week in week out games and that first period a couple of games a week. So um, you know any sort of adjusting and, and things we wanted to push through was very much done in a game week, which has its limitations. So um, I think you know it was a it was a good year for getting stuff in place. But yeah, there's there's nothing like a pre season to. Give yourselves the opportunity to have discussions, you know, to put ideas across, to make sure the understanding is really good and, and let the players bounce that back and find their way with it. And also just to have some tough days. You know, it's um, pre-season obviously gives you an opportunity to really push the boys to a dark spot. Um, you know, and, th and there's real value in them doing that as a group. It's, it's nothing to do with a coach wanting to do it. It's, it's what they go through as a group, you know, is really important. But... Um, you know, gives you preseason gives you a chance without the the sort of relentlessness of matches and the bangs and all the rest of it to really develop players skill wise, understanding wise, and and physically. So, um, yeah, we did a lot of planning in the off season, a lot of reflection on on how we did as coaches and where we feel we could be better to push the program forward. And so far, I'm really happy with what we're doing.